the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix and well again remember it's a Saturday race it's not on a Sunday it's Saturday UK time it's 5 p.m. for the start 5 p.m. on Friday is the qualifying time the practice on Thursday and Friday and that's part of why you get in the preview on the Wednesday because as I'm recording this thing is 15 hours out from the start of FP1 so what can we expect can we expect suddenly Red Bull to drop back unlikely but having seen how it's gone for Red Bull in the past as long as they keep themselves out of traffic it'll be okay Speaking of traffic, that'll be an issue to anybody who, well, is caught behind traffic in the earlier sectors of it. Do you remember, was it the first race that Mazepin had the pile-up? Well, no, he didn't have the pile-up, he arc braked the pile-up and got caught in an accident that had already happened. I think it already stopped happening before he showed up on the scene. But either way, the street circuit, that's not a street circuit, but it claims to be a street circuit because it has the unique rules of the street circuit largely, you know, have walls so close to the track, is back again, Cheddar. And we've seen another announcement for Katia today, now with elevation and a roller coaster in some of these, I presume, AI generated images. It looks like someone's gone haywire with the janitor of Phil and decided to left one track with a city inside. To be honest, I much preferred the original design that had like more figure 80 things, and I think it was. So the first track that was supposed to have been designed by Alex Verts. But, yeah. I don't know. I'm not much of a fan of it. As you can tell by the fact that the footage I've got going on here is from F1 2021? Is it even F1 2021? I don't think it is. I think it might even be F1 2020. Uh, yeah. Because I just... Yeah, it's from 2021. December 2021. Because honestly, I just don't feel like sitting down and recording it in the F1 game. I'll probably try and do that for a review though, because I've kind of cheapened out a bit on that recently. At least with the F1 stuff. But yeah, don't expect Alpine to suddenly make recoveries, even though they've had the massive changes to their technical direction since the season opening Bahrain Grand Prix. I don't expect Max Verstappen to suddenly, because of the disputes between himself and his dad and Christian Horner, announced he's going to Mercedes, though that rumour seems to be gaining more traction. So it'll be interesting. It would be almost akin to when Lewis went to Mercedes just over a decade ago. But yeah, expect the Red Bulls to be out in front. Ferraris versus the Mercedes, it would depend on heating, cooling, and how Leclerc's brakes are going to perform. It's not much time to change around the car from weekend to weekend. Expect the other Merck powered teams like Aston and McLaren to potentially perform a bit better. McLaren year on year did well compared to last Bahrain, so naturally, expect them to do well here. And Alonso had done well at Saudi as well. I've seen that there's been a bit more drama about the pit line stuff. I'm pretty sure that was there last season anyway, wasn't it? Just, you can't play chicken like a Baku. Well, like you could at Baku. But anyways, as always, let me know your thoughts and predictions in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.